Hello there. Today we're parked at the Lost Valley Trailhead, but we're not going into Lost Valley. We're going to cross Highway 94 and explore that area. Now I've been hiking here since the 70s, and this is the first time I've been the only car at the trailhead. We're currently on the lower portion of the Hamburg Trail in the tunnel under Highway 94. We're currently at the southern end of the Hamburg Trail. As you can tell, we're right next to Highway 94. <laughs> this is the old Highway 90. We're currently on the Hamburg Trail at the southern terminus. The northern terminus is in Bush Wildlife Conservation Area. It runs maybe, I don't know, five to seven miles in length. This is the old roadbed for Highway 94. We're not going to hike that entire distance today. I really want to get to the Missouri River, see how it's looking, but I did want to show you this. It's really pretty this time of year. So I was mistaken earlier when I said this was a three-way intersection. It's actually a four-way intersection. I'll pan through it, give you an idea of what it looks like. So this is the direction we came from, back to the car at the Lost Valley Trailhead. This is the southern terminus of the Hamburg Trail and the tunnel under Highway 94 that we were just at. I'm not really certain what is ahead, so we're going to go straight ahead in just a minute and find out. And then finally, this takes us down to the Katy Trail. We'll go there last. Before we go anywhere else though, I just ran across two trail runners who informed me there's an abandoned bridge behind me in the woods, and this is at the four-way intersection. So as you can see, there's uh, remnants of an old trail and some uh, safety netting there that's obviously you know, not in use. Let's go see what we've got over there. I've never been to that before. Well, it seems sturdy enough I've got to go across to see what's on the other side. Forty-five years of exploring out here, and I'm still finding new things. This is really cool. This is looking down at the stream on the Highway 94 side. We've had three inches of rain in the last week, so the stream has quite a bit of water in it. It's beautiful here. And this is the stream on the Missouri River side of this bridge. I'm going to assume that the Missouri River water levels are up based on the water levels of this stream. All right, let's walk across the rest of the bridge and see what's over there.
All right, we're a ways in. It's a little tough going. It's not too bad though. I'm not sure how far this goes. It's obviously an old roadbed. So I don't have that much time left today. I'm going to come back sometime when I have the entire day to explore this area. We'll do a video on it. Okay, so we're back to the four-way intersection. What's interesting is the path to that collapsed bridge was just really a path in the woods. There was no pavement there, not like where we are here. So what we're going to do is go directly behind me as if we went straight through the intersection. So it would have been a left in the Hamburg Trail, coming out of there a left to go the direction that we're about to go, coming out of that way a left to go to the Katy Trail, which in this case means three lefts would make a right. <laughs> Let's go. Well, we only went about 100 feet, and that's the end of this roadbed. It's kind of interesting, and it looks like the conservation department has a roadbed brush hogged off to my left. Let's pan over and take a look at that. Another area to explore in the future. We'll definitely be back for this. Looks like we're going to need a full day. This area used to be gated off, so you know we're coming back to do this. I think we'll need a full day between the roadbed on the other side of the bridge and this area. I'm really looking forward to this video. Let's take a look at this fence over here. I'm not certain how well this will come out, but uh, it's a chain link fence. You see on six feet. It's about a foot taller than me, so about a seven foot high chain link fence with three strands of barbed wire running across the top of that. And it goes up the hill as far as I could see. When the rest of the leaves are off in winter, we'll really be able to explore this area. So we're currently at the old Weldon Spring Quarry site. According to the sign, it's safe for recreational use. I'm wondering if one of those old roadbeds that we'll explore in the future goes to the actual quarry itself. That would be interesting to find out. I've been there before, but it came at it from a different direction. So this is the Katy Trail, the intersection with it. To the right and to the left is the Katy Trail. If you go straight, you're on an old levee that has a road on top, <laughs> another area to explore. So there's three new areas to explore out here. Now it's been a long time since I've been in this area. I thought we were near the river, but you really can't see it from here. We'll look at the Katy Trail, both directions, just a little ways down, and then we'll call this a day. As you can tell, it's uh, very overcast and sunset's coming up soon, so it will be dark before long. Okay, so we're still at the four-way intersection. So according to this, the Hamburg Trail is actually eight miles long. We're located here. This is the location of the Weldon Springs site, the disposal cell for all the cleanup the EPA did. There's a museum there. I'm not sure if we can film in that. I'll find out, and if we can, I'll do a little tour of that. The disposal cell itself is actually the highest point in St. Charles County. It's currently closed. They're rebuilding the stairs to the top. Once that reopens, we'll shoot a video from there too. The Katy Trail is the longest rails to trails project in the United States. I'm not certain how long it is now. The last time I looked it up, it was 328 miles, but I know it's been added to since then. Okay, we've gone a bit. Let's turn around and see what's on the other side. The 
Occasionally I go out and hike 30 to 35 miles in a day just to make sure I can still do it. And the Katy Trail is where I usually do that at. As you can see it's long, it's level, and it is pretty. It follows the Missouri River Bluffs for pretty much the entire length of the rail, or I should say the trail. <laughs> okay, so we are in the section of the Katy Trail that would have made a right at that intersection with the Hamburg Trail and the Katy Trail. And I found a cleared open area off to the side of the Katy Trail, which has the potential to link up to the trail I was on at that collapsed bridge. And I, I just can't pass. I know it's almost dark, but I just cannot pass up the chance to see if this is it. So let's go find out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is freaking me out a little bit. This area is too well groomed, especially for conservation land. It's been mowed. There are several really clear mowed little paths off of this main one. I'm thinking maybe there's some private property or a subdivision just off to my right. We're heading back to the Katy Trail. Okay, so we're back on the Katy Trail. That was a little creepy. I mean, that wasn't just brush hog, that was mowed. And I saw two side trails that were off to my left that were also mowed. Anything that well groomed, it's gotta be private property or somebody's infringing on public land from their property. Either way, I don't belong there. This is the levee behind me. No idea how long it is, where it goes. I'm really excited to get back here and ex explore this area. Maybe I could talk my wife into coming with me next time. <laughs> See if she'll cross that bridge. Okay, it's sprinkling rain and it's almost dark. Time for me to head back to the car. Thanks for watching.